myself to be the voice for our community speaking on topics that include community, religion, education, politics, technology, sports, health, and wellness. The Gray Area Media is a platform created by longtime fans for the sole purpose of providing our communities with the ability to voice current, past, and modern day issues. The Gray Area and its naming significance solely speaks to the area in which people shy away from speaking because of media-based constraints or contractual-based obligations. But I'm here to tell you, we don't do that here. So please, stay tuned in. We're going to go live in a few minutes. Don't forget, please add us as a friend on Facebook so that you can follow our live feed. And not only that, please add us on Twitter and Instagram at The Great Area Media. Please visit our website at www.thegreatareamedialive.com. Thank you. Facebook, we are live, and this is the gray area. This is your boy Ray E, and this is your boy is P, P. Wills, and we are live right now with some good friends of ours, uh, Chiefs of Silver Center Events. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? And we have another special guest here. Uh oh, Kennedy Uh-oh. Foster, Kennedy S. Foster, author, entrepreneur. How you doing? I'm doing good. You doing good? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Kennedy. Let's have fun. Um, you guys are, are doing something phenomenal. Um, I don't think that we shed enough light on what's going on with, uh, you know, how parents are teaching their kids business. Um, we actually need to do it more. And I think that you guys are like a hallmark for that right now because she has an awesome book that's out right now. Uh, you've been uh, helping her push it very heavy. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people are purchasing it and, and going out there and, uh, and reading it. And that's, that's awesome because now you, you're showing that other parents that they can get kids. Kids can be authors too. There's no limit. Sky's the limit. Mm-hmm. Um, but let's talk about the Silver Center real quick. Let's. I mean, you've been doing this for some time now, and you're great at what you do. Thank you. I mean, your pictures are circulating around Facebook. Like, anytime there's an event <laughs> and, and, and it looks phenomenal, the first thing people say, is that Jesus stuff? Mm. That's what's up. <laughs> I mean, and, um, true. It is, absolutely. That's the first thing I say. I say, oh, this has to be Jesus. You know, I'm very <laughs> shocked if it's not. You know, um, you're doing a lot uh, around the city for events and all kinds of events, weddings, uh, you know, sweet 16s, 50 year old birthday, all kinds of different things. Mm-hmm. So tell us uh, about the Silver Center. How did you get started? And, you know, what, what sparked this knack for uh, doing events on that level, on this level that you're doing them? I mean, I've always done them. I've done them for 16 years. I've done them on the side of my uh, real job, quote okay. unquote, right. um, up until I opened the Silver Center. So before the Silver Center, I was just Silver Spoon Events. Okay. Um, and then when the venue idea came about, I was just trying to think of something that kind of went with Silver Spoon Events so I didn't have to completely change my tax ID number mm-hmm. and all that right. stuff. So I did a DBA. Yeah. Um, and so the Silver Center came about, um, like I said, since I've been doing planning for a long time, I really got tired of all the restrictions and all the rules right. at other venues of all the things that I wanted to do. I had all these ideas and they're like, mm-hmm. oh no, you can't bring that. Oh no, you can't you can't do that. Right. Oh you don't we don't allow those. Right. Oh, there yeah. are a lot of rules out there when you use using other people's events yeah. and things. Yeah. Rightfully so, right? You yeah. know, there's some things that come with that. Yes. I mean I, I have rules but they're not as strenuous. And you, you know, right. one of the main things is that you can bring your own food. Mm. Um, oh yeah. nice. Yeah definitely yeah. Because yeah, that's rare. I really got tired of doing smaller events like a baby shower or a bridal shower Mm -hmm. and trying to convince the venue. Like, my client doesn't want a $30 a person plate for a baby shower. Yeah. You know, you know how we do. We want spaghetti and chicken. (laughs) Absolutely. I buy chicken. Preferably. (laughs) The food goes quick. (laughs) Yeah. So, that's what sparked that. I was like, well, I'm just on by my own because I just do what I want to do. So you 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 were the change. You said, "Look, ain't no venues around here doing it like I would do it." Mm-hmm. So you got your own. Yeah. How many square feet you got? You 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 got the. For those who don't know, she just <laughs> got. She's got a piece. Uh, what is the old LS Airs? Is yeah. that what it used to be? Mm-hmm. Uh, in Washington Square Mall. That's a huge spot. It's, upstairs, downstairs. Yes. 
So mm. currently, I have 30,000 square feet. 30,000 wow. square feet. Yes. After phase two, <clears throat> I'll have um, 60,000 square feet. Oh, my goodness. The whole building itself, though, is 150,000 square feet. So mm. I've still only taken a corner of it. Right, right, wow. right, okay. right. But that's, I mean, that's a huge yeah. chunk. Yeah. Yeah. You know, some, you know, you, you got the stores in the in the mall, and they're, you know, they're fighting for 2,000 square feet. I know. You know, right. but you got 30,000 square feet. And I chose the square feet furthest from the mall, so you can't get to me from the mall at all. Mm. So I have the main entrance off of 10th and Arlington. I mean, 10th wow. and Midhoff. Wow. Why did you choose that for, for like, I mean, what, what reason did you, you know, choose, choose that? Choose that Yeah. Um, just for a cosmetic reasons, mm -hmm. I like the arches. I wanted yeah. the big grand entrance, mm -hmm. yeah. and then um, I didn't want to be close to the mall. You know, the whole mental mentality of I don't want to get married in the mall type of thing. Right. Gotcha. So yeah. I didn't want to be. You can't get to me from the mall. I just right. had the building. That's something that went through my mind as well. Mm -hmm. um, and, and as you've been building out and putting pictures out, I was like, this is this is nice. Mm -hmm. You know, and you think of that. You know, people in their mind. It, it's like, uh, you know, that, uh, what's that, uh, Emmaus in, uh, in the mall? Mm -hmm. It's like a church in the mall. You know, you, you first right. think about it, and you go in, it's really nice. Yeah. So what you've done is you've taken LSS, and you are really starting to bang it out now. I've seen some uh, most recent pictures. I, uh, anybody that's listening right now, go to uh, the Silver Center. Uh, you know, Facebook page mm -hmm. and, and check out the pictures. Uh, things are looking really, really good right now. And uh, I know you're going to do well with that. Thank you. Yeah, because that's, I mean, that's a big deal. Um, I enjoy it a lot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. I mean, so many different <laughs> things that you've been attached to uh, with people that we mutually know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've seen a lot of those things. And, and it's, it looks really, really nice. So Thank I you. applaud you on that. We'll talk, we'll talk more about that. Appreciate it. Kennedy, you all right? <laughs> Your heart pounding? <laughs> It's okay. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Bless heart. Bless your heart. Your pound. You are a young author. How old are you? Eleven. Eleven years mm -hmm. old. What's the name of your book? A Grown Up's World Through Eleven Year Old Eyes. A wow. Grown Up's World Through Eleven Year Old Eyes. I have to ask, what made you come up with that title? <laughs> <laughs> what made me come up with the title is when I got the thought of how my mom goes through some tough changes, some mm -hmm. good changes. And how I see them through my mind and mm. through her mind. Wow! Wow! That that that's that's a great answer. It yeah. actually is. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that, that, that's like well thought out. That's what happens. You know, my son, my my kids are not thinking on that level right now. Good job. <laughs> Pounds. Wow! I mean, when did you know that you wanted to like uh, start writing? Well, when I was in school, I really didn't like writing, so I just started writing uh -huh. random things in my journal. Okay. And I told my mom I wanted to pay my own way to college, and I was mm. I was already writing, so I was like, I can write a book and make this go somewhere. Wow. Um, um, that's amazing. So, I mean, you can chime in on this. What went through putting together a, a, a book for a child. I mean, like, <laughs> when you, you, you knew she wanted to write. You know she's been writing. I didn't. You didn't know? <laughs> no. Wow. I've been writing I for over on a year. This I stumbled on this journal. Unbelievable. And if you know how you uh, get your On This Day from yeah. Facebook, uh -huh. and it came, the day came up when I found the journal and I took a picture of all the chapters on Facebook, and I was mm -hmm. like, my daughter's writing a book. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> wow. wow. Yeah. So you've basically taken this journal... And, and turn it into uh, a book. Yes. Wow. It's hilarious. So, so tell us a little bit about the book, because you know some of the things that are happening in this book. Give people a little, a little bit of the, uh, a little bit of the meat and potatoes, you know, without giving them the meat and potatoes. What's your favorite chapter? My uh -oh. favorite chapter is recess or four hundred one k. Recess or four hundred one k. Okay, yeah, now break that down. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Down. I have to break that down. Time out. Time out. <laughs> Recess or four hundred one k. That's huge. And let me say something before oh she my explains. God. I, before she explains, so uh -huh. some of this stuff is so wild and but I, I and hilarious. <laughs> I left it that way on purpose because it's not my view. Yeah. And I was like, so this is clearly what she thinks this is. I'm gonna leave it like that. Right. And so. <laughs> Man, man, but that is but that, that is a great title for like business. I mean, or yeah. you know, you know anything. So what right. did it mean? At first, four hundred one k meant four hundred and one thousand dollars. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> that's a valid. That's a valid answer. Like seriously, if you look at four hundred one k, you will think that that's four hundred one thousand dollars. She did. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, okay. Okay. So explain the recess. The you know the the thing between well, the recess. 
I personally thought that recess was for children and 401k was for elders. Mm-hmm. So, either recess with elders or recess mm-hmm. with children. <coughs> I really don't know which one to pick. <laughs> <laughs> You can tell them what you put in the You don't want to tell them what you put in the book? I won't make it a surprise. Uh, okay. We got to go read it. Yeah, Gee, yeah, I have to read this book. Man. Yeah, we'll be purchasing that tonight. We got to figure <laughs> this 401k and recess thing it's out. pretty funny. So how does it feel to be a young author? I mean, are your friends, uh, you know, wanting to be authors now or what? Now, how's, how's that all happening? My friends are really happy for me. But they're like kind of sad because the price and their parents don't want them to spend that much money on it. <laughs> how much is the book? It's seventeen ninety nine. Mm, it's not bad. It's not bad. I at said all. it wasn't being cheap bad. out there. I mean, it was. It is thirteen chapters. Right. <laughs> right. And that's good. That's good. Thirteen chapters is good. Seventeen. You break that down, divvy it up. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it make a lot of sense. That's awesome. Now, okay. So, you went into helping her build this brand. What did it? What did it take? I mean, because you got to get a book cover, you gotta, mm-hmm. you gotta figure out the financial part of it. You know, tell us a little bit about what went into well, putting this together. First of all, writing a book ain't my ministry. I'm just gonna put that out there. <laughs> so you know, I got tired of researching this stuff, and mm-hmm. it's, it's it's about as much rules as opening a business, just different. Mm-hmm. So the way we need a tax ID, a book has to have an ISBN and all these things and trying to find the right um, publishing company Mm. to use and Mm -hmm. who gets better, who gives better royalties and who moves faster and what the rating and reviews are. I've sat up many nights reading all these websites Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. calculating and, you know, it's just, it was, it was a lot, but I mean, I, I, again, I learned, so now if she writes more books, it'll be absolutely quick and easy yeah but as far as um you know i hope nitty's watching this because he learned too mm-hmm. he did the illustration and it, it, it got on his nerves too wow because he's you know i sent him the template and i'm like look you the you the creative one in this so mm-hmm. you you handle that right um and it took him a while but it was it's a lot right oh absolutely illustrations and i mean you got to have programs that correlate that into a graphic image mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and that image may change based on what's what's going on. There. I'm, I can imagine that's a that's a heavy uh, process. It was. Yeah, especially with, you know when people who don't do it because I do this too. I do graphic design and mm-hmm. web development, and people just think it happened overnight. It's, it doesn't happen I overnight. <laughs> he was one of the people. Uh huh. That is a. I'm telling you right now, that is a strenuous process. Yeah. He got a text every week. Yeah. Like what is what's taking so long? <laughs> so. <laughs> I mean, so. Like, uh, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of parents out there listening, trying to figure out, you know, how to get their kid involved and to be an entrepreneur. Can you tell us some of the things that you've been doing mm-hmm. to motivate her? Because obviously, you know, the book says it all, you know, mm-hmm. seeing the world through an 11-year-old's eyes, uh, you know, adult stuff. And a lot of times kids, kids don't understand the language, so they rely on the parent to do that. Can mm-hmm. you give the parents some strategic advice on how they could, you know, ease into that and then mo- keep, continue to motivate the kid to, you know, to pursue it? Well, um, I talk to Kennedy a lot is the main thing because I'm a single mom and an mm-hmm. entrepreneur, so mm-hmm. I need her to understand some things. Mm-hmm. You know, our, our schedule is, is different week to week. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, this week I might be able to cook dinner. Next week y'all going to eat McDonald's every day. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, and so I talk to her I talk to her a lot, and she does get to see all of the changes, the trials mm-hmm. and tribulations from the center to the events, and she's helped with them. And even though she claims she hates events, you know, she'll mm-hmm. go to a different event and come home and say, Mom, they had the fork on the wrong side. Mm-hmm. The table did, tablecloth didn't go to the floor. Wow. You know, she, she, she She's knows, picking up those, those nets. She does, and it's funny because mm-hmm. she swears she, she hates doing it. Um, but <laughs> when she brought about this book, then it started out as a joke, I, I actually, mm-hmm. um, because I asked her what she wanted to be, and she said a chemist. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, I immediately thought, okay, that's about eight years of college. <laughs> I was like, okay, so where you want to go? She was like, oh, well, I want to go to Harvard. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, well, I hope you get a scholarship or something. Mm-hmm. I said, how are you going to get there? Mm-hmm. I was like, I'll pay my own way. I was like, wow. I'm going to hold you to that. Wow. So I come this book, and I was like, okay, well, we're going to publish it. This is what it takes. This is what it got to do. And, um, you know, even down to what a little money that she would get. Uh, she sells candy at school. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, she's a little hustler. So she'd get $10, mm-hmm. and... Um, 
on Thursday, she can take extra class at her dance practice. Mm -hmm. So I said, yeah, you can pay your own. She's like, but that's $6. I only have four <laughs> left. I was like, exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, because that process is, and you're teaching her that, you know, you have to have an expense. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got overhead. There's things that come with business. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. And, and I encourage anybody, I mean, even if, if they don't become authors like young Miss Kennedy here, you know, get them a lemonade stand. Mm -hmm. you know, so you got you got product to purchase, mm -hmm. and that product goes, and all that profit, you just can't put that profit in your pocket. Mm -hmm. You got to go buy some more stock. Mm -hmm. And I, we went through that. Um, right. With, even with her pre-sales, I would show her the growth. Well, there's a growth chart that mm -hmm. we were selling. Mm -hmm. And I would say, look, look what you've done. And she's like, somebody bought a book in, excuse me, in Texas and in wow. North Carolina. She's like, who is that? I was like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. We don't know who are, but she would see the profit. She's like, oh, my God, I got $1,000. <laughs> I said, no, you don't, because right. they're going to take that out to yeah. print it. Yeah, right. gross, and then you, you know? get the net. Right, she, yeah. She understand. She's like, I'm buying me an iPhone. Right. Said, not, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> you know, but this, this is a great start. I mean, the fact that you're profiting, you've made a lot more than a lot of 11-year-olds. Let me tell you that right now. A lot of kids are still working on uh, on the house. Yeah, I mean, chore, chore money. Uh -huh. I mean, her mentality, though, for that younger man <laughs> is unbelievable. She's looking at me because I don't pay chore money. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm with you on that. Work. I'm with you on that. Yeah, exactly. Because of exactly. Marvis. Huh? Yeah. Because of Marvis. Marvis. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was just, yeah, go ahead. Go no, ahead. I was just saying, you know, like, you're right. Kid, kids should naturally want to clean up their own house, you mm -hmm. know, without being paid for it. You know, that's just something that you should have to do anyway. Mm -hmm. If you grew up thinking that you got to clean up, you get paid to clean up your house all the time, that's not very effective as an adult. Yeah. Because <laughs> you don't get paid to yeah. do it as an adult. Not mm -hmm. in your own house. Exactly. Right. Absolutely. And then these mm -hmm. kids, you know, they'll start to develop this mentality. Well, if I'm not getting paid for it, I ain't going to do it. Exactly. Yeah. 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 You know, and there's no uh, servitude in that. You mm -hmm. know, it's always, hey, you know, if I get something back, then mm -hmm. I'll do it. You yeah. know, that's yeah. Right. You don't want nope. to. Right, and that's I mean, and that's and that's brilliant, man. I, I just I just love this because I, I was thinking about uh, definitely getting my kids on a lemonade stand this summer, mm -hmm. and I just think that you know Yazutori is so unique because you don't see it very often, and it should be happening like every day. Mm -hmm. uh, are you familiar with uh, Dr. Boyce Watkins? Sounds familiar. Dr. Boyce Watkins, uh, I think he's going to single-handedly bring back, like, Black Wall Street, for real. Because he just really promotes, um, like, business entities mm -hmm. and building your kids up and mm -hmm. building your brand and, and so many different tools that really aren't available. I mean, like, let's just be real. There's a lot of, of, of people of our color that have not went to school, that does, don't have possessed a business mindset and tools. And Dr. Boyce Watkins is one of those people that's saying, look, you know, even if you didn't go to school, you could still become an entrepreneur. Absolutely. So, you know, and he has, uh, you know, things on there that helps kids. You know, like he, he get, uh, he's got a program that kids can become entrepreneurs, sell anything. You know, basically just gets them in the mindset. Dr. Boyce? Dr. Boyce Watkins. Yeah, Boyce. B -O -I -C. We'll post a link on there. I, yeah. I'll have a, a Leslie House, our chief editor, uh, put an article or something together, and then okay. we'll, we'll put that out there. But it's Dr. Boyce Watkins called the Black Business School, and basically his whole circuit is on building young entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. That's in very interesting. Absolutely. I was going to try to do, um, this is premature mm -hmm. since we're li live, but yep. I'm working on doing... Um, an entrepreneurship for kids, a, a mm. summer camp just for one week mm. at the end wow. of July. So wow, yeah. What uh, location? I mean, do you at know yet? At the Silver Center. Silver Center. Whoa, that's gonna be nice. Yeah. Yeah. What's the age group? Um, fifth grade. Is it fourth? Fourth grade to eighth grade. Fourth to eighth grade. Yep. To, yeah. So, okay. so about like ten, eleven yeah. to. Yeah, okay. I was trying to put the ages in my head uh -huh. when I did yeah. the grades, but yeah. So basically, for one week. They're going to build a product. I don't care what it is. They can mm -hmm. make bracelets out of rubber bands. Okay. But they have to go through the entire process of mm -hmm. building this product. Right. Mar from yeah. market analysis and research yep. and build and, and Mission and plan. vision statement. Right. All that. Yeah, yeah. And wow. then that Saturday, well, during the week, I'm going to promote um, the marketplace. Mm -hmm. And then... That Saturday, we're going to have a huge marketplace where the whole community, friends, family, everybody can come in and shop mm -hmm. at the marketplace, and they make their money. Yeah. So. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Uh, we're definitely going to be a part of that workshop. Yeah. Okay. You know, because it's so important. You know what I'm saying? It's so important to teach kids about this kind of Not too young. They're learning so many things in the world. I mean, unfortunately, they're getting a lot of YouTube, Instagram, and all these different things that mm -hmm. does not create wealth for the well some of them do it depends on what you're doing on there but uh, generally a majority of kids are not thinking with a business mindset yeah and it's important for us to 
to put that kind of stuff in their mind right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Um, and even if they don't go full fledged with it, just having the idea or is 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 made. Yeah, you know, and that's something that you know, you know. I had two sons. One is six, and one is uh, eleven months. Mm -hmm. But you know. You know, I tell my oldest son, like, every day, I'll just walk past him, or if I'm sitting down watching, you know, TV with him, I just say, hey, Pat, own, I say, be a uh, business owner, you know, and mm -hmm. I just put that seed in his brain, like, mm -hmm. you know, every day, you know, I just, like, say it, and, um, but my goal as a father is to teach him and just give him that mindset to just, you know, just not just think to be a worker, right? you know, just, you know, think about ownership, too, because, yeah. you know, I mean, that's important, like, extremely important. It is, yeah. Well, for Kennedy, she's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> she needs she need to make her own money. Mm -hmm. I don't even ask her what she for because I I instantly get upset. Mm -hmm. And because I look at her, I'm thinking, what have I done? What have I shown you to think that we're supposed to have sushi and crab legs on a Wednesday? <laughs> I'm like, nah, I, I done messed up somewhere. Because you're, 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 you're going to buy your own sushi is what's going to happen. Mm. Are you, do you eat expensive? Sometimes. Um, well, see, you can't get yeah, mad at that. Yeah, so. it sometimes. <laughs> so she's running. Ooh, I'm going to get you some money. She's going to break your on a Monday or randomly any time in the week. <laughs> So her expensive taste is coming from you, huh? It is, but you know how, you know, old school, <laughs> when you go to them places and you don't take the kids, mm -hmm. like, here, y'all get, get this Wendy's get, over here. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Get the kids' menu. Not them. <laughs> <laughs> they eating like adults. Hey, <laughs> that's part of being an entrepreneur, huh? Yeah. <laughs> This is amazing, man. Yeah. Uh, I encourage all, uh, everybody that's online uh, listening in to go buy this book. What, tell me the name of the book again. A Grown-Up's World Through 11-Year-Old Eyes. Please go. Is that on Amazon? It is. It's still on pre-sale, though. It's on pre-sale? Because it's just, um, we just released it on last Sunday. Okay. okay. We're waiting on um, Amazon rules. Or, that's another thing I learned anyway. <laughs> very troubling but uh we're waiting on our big shipment okay. of all the books so we can send out the pre-sales so is this a digital copy or is this a physical copy it's gonna physical. be it's it, right now we're waiting on the physical copy but okay. when amazon decides to release it they they release 30 days after your release mm. oh okay yeah. okay so it's book i'm sure there's a method to the madness behind that yeah <laughs> but they can get it on my website okay barnes, oh, okay. barnes and nobles okay. does it also uh, barnes and nobles gonna have it but they do nice. the same thing mm-hmm What's your website? Is, yeah, that's what I was about. Do you know it? How I see things pre sale dot com. Okay, yeah. okay. There it is. Go out there and get that book, man. Uh, this is I mean, this is great. Um, we have a, an author who uh, writes for uh, Dr. Boyce Watkins. Tyra Seldon was on our show uh, not too long ago, and she uh, has a writing publishing company, like a company where who, where she edits all kinds of different documentation and books and all that stuff. I encourage you guys to get in touch with her. Okay. Uh, Tyra Seldon, uh, it's, it's called the Seldon Writing Group. Um, you know, so maybe on your next book, but she is mm -hmm. phenomenal, um, and she's right here in this city. Uh, yeah. So yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very reachable. Yeah, you want you to tell them the name of your next book? Uh oh. My Notebook of Impossible Things. Oh wow! Notebook of Impossible Things. Oh, what, what inspired where are you that? Coming up with these titles <laughs> from? God. What inspired that? Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, that's pretty impossible. <laughs> <laughs> I was at school and we had to read a book called Fish in a Tree. Mm -hmm. And the little girl who kept getting bullied had a notebook of impossible things. Mm -hmm. And the book was so relatable. Mm -hmm. So I just had to have one, and I kept on kept on going with it. <laughs> wow. You got, I don't know. You, she, she might be, be too big for you one day. I, you, know, you know, that's, that's a worry <laughs> right now. Like, I think, to, I think to myself some days, like, why did I start this right now? <laughs> mm. You know, with the center, and this is what's what a good time. Mm -hmm. Right oh, in the middle of Empower and yeah. all these things. And I didn't know it was going to do all that it's done. Right. And then I thought, like, on a grander scale, what if, you know, I can't do all that traveling and book signings because mm -hmm. she's a minor. Right. So hey, I hope DeMont's watching because DeMont's going to have to be her manager. And, and Uh-oh. There you go, go DeMont. I hope you're tuning in. And, and take her around because somebody responsible, I, you know. <laughs> I got things to do. Tell us about Empower, your your Empower event. Uh, tell tell us tell the viewers what that is and what you're doing with that program. Okay, Empower is um it's a <laughs> it's a it's a women's empowerment conference and event. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I tried to mix a lot of social and business 
work and play into one conference. Okay. So it's a lot of fun, but it's mm-hmm. very um, educational. You mm-hmm. learn a lot. You meet a lot. You network. You shop. Mm-hmm. You eat. You eat some more. Yeah. You eat some more. <laughs> wow, women love to eat. Yeah, we yeah. do. So you yeah. got to, you know, and... Um, the name came from it's funny it's just my two favorite shows I just mixed Empire and Power uh-huh. oh nice and it made sense yeah, yeah. yeah. Empire yeah. yeah wow that's what I did <laughs> is that how you got that if you look at the logo it's the M from Empire and the Power from Power wow so how can you write both shows how can I uh-huh. well Empire is, a, is artificial but it's so entertaining mm. and Power is just powerful I just <laughs> love yeah. it I just love it I would say both of those are women's shows. I, I mean, there's a men that watch. I can't get into the reality, really? no, not the reality show, but the, these shows. Mm-hmm. I guess because I'm a, I'm a realist when I think about these things. Yeah. Like, oh, hey, I mean, that's how power is. And me too. But, mm-hmm. yeah. but I, you also have to take, especially watching anything on TV. Yeah. It's yeah. just for some of the news too. It's just mm-hmm. entertaining. It's mm-hmm. good entertainment. Yeah. That's really it's all it is. Good entertainment. entertainment. But, but Empower is awesome. So, you know, what are some of the type of people that you have in these conferences? So our first conference, we had uh, Cashel Kelly from Texas. She's the uh, CEO. Uh, she wrote a book called Boss Women Pray. Okay. And she's the CEO of the, what is her dream something. I forget. I'm sorry. Her She has a, she does a conference of her own. Mm-hmm. Um, we had Boss Babe, which is Alex Wolf mm-hmm. um, come from New York. And we did Coriel, which does the um, Confessions of a Workaholic book. Mm, okay. And uh, Hers is called Work Pray Slay, her conference. Okay. So this year, uh, we pushed the we pushed the date back to September. It was supposed to be April 29th. Mm-hmm. But again, everything that's going on. And then stuff started happening with the event at right. the very last minute. And I didn't have time to mm. expand on the opportunities. Right. Like we just got our 501c3 okay. with the event. That is a strenuous process. Oh, my goodness. You have to. I mean, it's like a waiting line to get that. Yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> when it happened, I was like, okay, now I need time to take advantage because I'm going right. to push this back. Absolutely. Um, this year we have, I'm drawing a blank. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I know. You do it. You do it. Okay, you got a lot going on. I am. <laughs> I would draw blanks all the time. You know I, mean? I can tell you who our locals are. They're Terry Dove. Okay. Uh, you know Terry. Yes. Yeah, shout Terry out to Terry Dove. Yeah, yes. shout out to Terry. Terry and Ray. Um, okay. She wrote a book as well. And... Oh, yeah, I hope they ain't watching. That's terrible. <laughs> I mean, look, like I said, you got a lot going on. Oh, yeah, you got an excuse. Yeah. It ain't like this ain't this is all you're doing. You're doing a lot of different things. Mm-hmm. I know. I remember Candace Nicole <coughs> okay. Uh, okay. with Women Who Hustle. Mm-hmm. Um, Nicole Matthews from Texas. Um, she is the the marketing chicks or the Chicks, Inc. Mm-hmm. Okay. She's awesome and hilarious. And mm-hmm. we got another. Man, she's going to kill me. Uh-oh. <laughs> Please don't kill her if you're watching. My yeah. bad. Where's the camera? Don't hold it to her heart. My bad. Hold it to her head. Please. <laughs> and I ain't eight, so you know. <laughs> yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with it. But that, the Empire event, is, is, I didn't even know who was doing it. I just seen a lot of flies, a lot of marketing. Yeah. And I'm just like, man, this is this is major. The women in this city are, really, are really turning up. Huh? Christy. Yeah. Christy, yeah, okay. Christy Jackson, yeah, yes. Sir. Women's yeah. CEO project. Shout out to Tanissa M. Birch, uh, one of our viewers. Uh, yes. She yeah, she wrote that down this, for you. Yeah, oh, so you you're looking out for yeah. her. I love her. <laughs> yes, she's actually my brand new assistant for the Silver Center. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so I call her my trusty steed because mm-hmm. she did. She helps with Empower. Mm-hmm. So good looking, Tanissa. Wow, that's what's up. <laughs> It's always good to have yeah. somebody that, that knows what they're doing and can take your mind off all the other stuff. Mm-hmm. But I, that's what I see amongst the entrepreneurs that come in here that we get and we talk about business. Everybody stays in their lane, and they mm-hmm. hire people to do the stuff that they can't do. Oh, yes. How important is that for what you do? It's very important. Well, here, uh, that's just twofold because I just was talking to Tanessa about this yesterday. Mm-hmm. One of my flaws um, is I'm horrible at delegation. Okay. I'm horrible at it. You like I, to do everything yourself? I don't like to. I just oh. do because I feel like the time it takes me to train you to do it, I'm just going to do it. Right, right. But then I got 60 things to do in a day, and then, you know, somebody's mad at the end of the day because I didn't get something done. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm, I'm learning. Mm-hmm. But as far as, like, the bigger things... You know, I had to I had to hire an accountant. I'm not mm-hmm. just, that's not my ministry. For sure. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I can do some of my own marketing, but I can't make the stuff, and I only want to try. I don't want to learn mm. Photoshop and all that mess. No, that's what y'all <laughs> for. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I don't have time, so I do mm-hmm. understand that I have a lot of pieces to my puzzle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow, that's incredible, man. I'm just proud of y'all because 
<clears throat> because I'm see I see it every day. Yeah. Um, and I'm not in your personal lives, but you know when you guys market on Facebook, I see I see what's happening all the time, mm -hmm. and I, and that just shows you how important it is for uh, people to utilize uh, social media as a tool. Yes. You know, um, <clears throat> even if you don't think anybody is liking or paying attention, people are seeing, and that's that's the most important thing. Um, and we had to learn that too. You just like, yeah. man, we, you know, you know, we looking at the viewers, and we're not we we're not concerned about the viewers. We you know we 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 got more concerned about uh, <clears throat> what are we feeding to them? Is that, you know, is it feeding to their soul? Is it feeding to their brain? Is it feeding mm -hmm. to their heart? You know, and that's and when we start focusing on that, the numbers start going up. Mm -hmm. So you know, you can't be so focused on uh, the wrong things. Yeah. You know, that's, that's the lesson in that. She don't know nothing about it yet. She don't have no social media. Oh yeah, she I, has social media now, but I run it. She. That's yeah. good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that is very good. You know, yeah, yeah, I mean, it, ain't, it ain't time like, for you yet. I mean, careful, you know? man. The people though. Yeah, I mean, yeah. so I mean, that's good. Social media I have is musically. That's it. Okay, yeah, that's, that's okay. It. And that's, that's not wonderful. even bad. Yeah. <laughs> She's just so calm, cool, and collective. She's you know? nervous because she's a pistol. Oh uh, yeah? yeah. No, I'm not. <laughs> Are you being sweet and sweet and kind right now? Absolutely. No. You get out of here, you gonna go off? No. She got a no. I'm gonna go to I'm sleep. I'm surprised she's not dancing. It ain't no music. You know, she can't can't have a regular conversation. <laughs> I mean, she walked in and bowed. She was like, Yeah, like we at karate. Yeah. <laughs> But that's awesome. You have a, a wonderful young lady. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And what you're doing with uh, Silver Center events is awesome as well. Thank you. Um, like I said, I, I would encourage anybody who's, who's listening to definitely go out and, and look up Kennedy S. Foster. She is an author of a book. Uh, what's the name of your book again? I don't want to mess it up. That's why I'll keep asking you. A grown-up's world through 11-year-old eyes. A grown-up's world through 11-year-old eyes. All of her social media incredible. is... All of her social media is How I See Things, Inc. All of social media is How I See Things, Inc. So go out there and add that stuff, uh, folks. Please go ahead and uh, follow all the social media. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for the Silver Center, uh, you're expanding. You're expanding uh, the upstairs floor. What are you doing for the upstairs? Uh, we've seen all the pictures for the downstairs. I'm thinking, oh, yes, I'm almost ready. Then you get on there and say, well, <laughs> we're going upstairs. And we're going to do this and another. Yeah. 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 What's going on with the Silver Center? And when when can people expect to, to utilize this as a full center? Yes. So my first plan was <laughs> the five-year anniversary for the Silver Center is May the, tw or May the 10th. So okay. I'm going to do it on the 12th. Um, but I, 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 somehow in there, I forgot that a grand opening is an actual event. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was like, well, I haven't planned this event too well. Let me. So yeah. I made it next week. Plus, I was still waiting on my um, <clears throat> invitation that, you know. Uh-oh. Anyhow. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting on an invitation. But now that I mm -hmm. have it, I can post. And it's going to be May the 19th. Okay. Um, so we're going to do a ribbon cutting ceremony. We're going to do wow. a big grand opening with some live entertainment and free hors d'oeuvres and cocktails That's and awesome. all walkthroughs and all that. I'm not even getting ready to go downtown and pull permits for upstairs. <laughs> and bouncy houses. Yeah. Bouncy. <laughs> That's what you're most excited <laughs> about, huh? <laughs> yes. I'm not. A, yeah. We're not starting on the up. Well, the food. It, it doesn't need. It needs a lot of work, but it doesn't mm -hmm. need as much as downstairs mm -hmm. because it's kind of sectioned off in ways that already were in my mind anyway, like with the offices and things. So it's going to mm -hmm. take some, mm -hmm. some work, a lot of cosmetic, but mm -hmm. like downstairs was a complete, man, I learned so much in that build out. I think yeah. I made a post. I was like, I learned so much. I probably should just be a project manager. You, you basically are completely renovating this place. I am. I mean, from top to the bottom, because it was it was last time it was utilized was when LSLs had it, right? Yes. So you I'm basically went in, mm. yeah. There so you're no replacing the ceiling tiles and all these different things. Why That's are the a big tiles job. Ten dollars a piece. Are mm. they? Jesus Why? Christ. Why are they? <laughs> so why not? Man, it's ten dollars a piece. Man. Oh man! So you putting a lot of money in this as well? Let's not. Let's. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's another show. <laughs> but it's worth the investment. We Absolutely, we had sushi and crab legs in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sacrifice you make. Yeah. But you will when she she get to going. Yeah, she can take her mom out to eat. Mm hmm. You take me to Benny Hanna. You better be ready I'm for that. Gonna be candy. out of town. Oh. <laughs> so be out of town. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? When I get older and I start traveling, I want to go to Jamaica. Okay. Wow, Jamaica. That's a good place. Why Jamaica? Because Mom went and she told me all the great things see? about it. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. You so don't know. You feed, you feed a giant monster. <laughs> <laughs> you, feed, you feed a giant right now. Everything she's learning, she's just absorbing and all this. Well, she's not good, though. 
But look, look, look what you have. I mean, this is incredible. Yeah, for me. Well, y'all pray for my son because apparently it ain't working. <laughs> oh, he don't want nothing to do with it. No, he just wants chicken nuggets and he want to be Iron Man when he grow up. And he's is he the youngest? Uh, he is. He the youngest is. Tend, to, <laughs> tend to not care about not anything at all because they feel like they covered on all bases. He'll get there though. Yeah, but, yeah he'll get there eventually. It might come a little later, That's but he's right. going to get it. He does it's, love video yeah. games. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she said. Well, I will buy him a GameStop when he gets older. Yes, there you go. Look at that. Eleven year old speak that into existence. An eleven year old thinking like that. Is, I mean, you don't uh, that's unbelievable. When I get enough money, I will buy him a GameStop. Wow. Throw my son in there too. You might think about it. Yeah, both of mine, please. Yeah. Please. The game heads. They can work there. That's incredible, man. So is it um you mentioned everything you got going on with Empower. Uh the Silver Center is expanding and growing. It is, and that's, mm -hmm. I have a phase three. Oh, phase uh -oh. three, tell us about it. Oh, man, so um, for people who are not familiar with, well, for people who are familiar with the area, there is an empty lot across the street. Okay. It's full of trees. Well, the owner of my building also owns that, mm -hmm. and he offered it to me, um, a deal I just absolutely cannot refuse. Mm -hmm. But at first I was like, ah, oh, what am I doing with all this space? But... I found out there's a pond back there behind all those oh, trees. Oh, wow. And that would be nice. So wow. if I build a drive behind those trees, mm -hmm. level those trees by the pond, and mm -hmm. cement that off, and build a, a just a small facility for restrooms and an office, mm -hmm. now all of a sudden we have outdoor space for family reunions. And wow. It's wow. Wow. Is it, is it like gated off or are you going to have to, you know, I'm gonna, make Okay. Well, you won't be able to see it unless you see the drive because okay. there's still mm -hmm. be trees on the street. Okay, you have well, to good. Drive yeah. through. You have to drive mm -hmm. through the drive to see it in the back, but just get a large tent. Now you got outdoor space. Right. For, That's awesome. Yeah. Shh, keep that on us. Yeah, we got us. <laughs> you know, you don't want to like people going you know, over there. Okay, next, <laughs> next week, so they should talk about. He gonna, he gonna say, look, uh, you know, after your show, somebody called and um, made this space. Uh, they made a big offer. They offered me double. <laughs> <laughs> he can try. It's in my lease. He's just a wrap. Mm. That's awesome. Okay, Fine. that's incredible. Yeah. Expansion is always good, <laughs> and the fact that you're you're mm -hmm. still on phase two and thinking about phase three just shows you where you tr shows us where you're trying to take this thing. Yeah. I mean, you're going like 100 full speed ahead. Why? Mm. Yeah, hey, that's a good question. Why not? Yeah, why, why not? not? Yeah. See, look, think that, it big. Listen, that could be the name of your next book why or not? like a chapter. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> See? She like that. She like that. I can't wait to send this book out, be only mm. because there's so many surprises. It really, <laughs> it really describes not just her, but I'm guaranteeing it describes how kids really think. Right. Like right. it's, and it was when I read it, I'm cracking up and I'm crying at the same time. <laughs> Because A, it's like, who taught you this? Mm -hmm. B, is this what you really think? Mm -hmm. C, is halfway correct. Mm -hmm. And it's so funny. I'm going to give y'all just a little, just a okay. little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, her, she has a chapter in there about church. Okay. And we have to fuss all the time about church. Because mm -hmm. it's mandatory. You know, it's not, it's not a recommendation. It's a requirement. Right. We're, we're going to church. Mm -hmm. And so, she says in there, you know, she has a love-hate relationship with church. Mm -hmm. She loves it because she loves the message, which... Mm -hmm. I didn't know he was listening, but okay. <laughs> she loves the message, and she loves the songs, mm -hmm. and she loves the people, <clears throat> and she likes how the message relates to our personal lives. And she goes into talking about, she she thinks when she goes to heaven, you get a golden ticket like Willy Wonka. <laughs> And the angels will open the gate for wow. you. Wow. Yeah, and she can see Martin Luther King mm -hmm. and my granddaddy mm -hmm. and all them. And if you don't, you're standing on this little trap door through the clouds. Wow. And you fall down. Yeah. Just, just like oh, South man. Park. Yeah, and then she says, you, she, <laughs> just like South Park. Like South Park. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you fall down like South Park. Yeah. And then she put in parentheses, uh, and then you go to the H word that I can't say, or my mom says she's not going to publish my book. <laughs> wow. I left it in there. <laughs> Just double hockey stick. That's amazing because it's so real. Yeah, it's so real and it's straight from you. Yeah, it's it, genuine, man. Like, yeah, yeah. It is. Organic. She says she don't like church because I make her wear skirts. She's not a skirt girl. Oh. Mm -mm. She put in her she don't like standing up and sitting down 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> Please stand while we are. <laughs> oh, man, mm -hmm. I crack up. I it in there just like that. That's amazing. That's amazing. The mind of an 11-year-old. Where are you going to be 12? Next year, dude. Next year. You got a whole year to live out this 11-year-old thing. Yeah. That's major. 
So when you wrote the book, were you 10? Yep. And it was uh, like, oh, where else was 10 see? Old took me a whole uh, year to write it. So are you going to do one based on your age every year? or Maybe. Hey, that's a good idea. No, that, <laughs> hey, that's a good idea, though. It's that's a good idea. It's not right now. <laughs> She's going to be publishing her own, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. Every yeah. year. That's good. Like that's good. That, that is a great. I, I didn't mean to speak that into it. She could do a trilogy, though. She could do 11, 12, and 13. Her thoughts are going to be the same. She need to do like 11, 15, and 19. <laughs> oh, no. Do some 11, time. 12, 13, 14. 12 year olds think like 12, mm-hmm. uh, 13 and 11 year olds. It's not true. Yeah. No. Unless, unless she does different. Like topics. two years apart. Mm-hmm. 12, 14, 16. Okay, there you go. There you go. There's, I mean, young young authors are. I mean, this is becoming a thing now. Yeah. And um, and, and she's ahead of the curve. Like I said, I I don't know any 11 year olds in this city that that's an author right now. I mean, you might right. be the only 11 year that I know of. Might be the only 11 year old author, mm. successful author. That uh, has got a book <laughs> coming out, and uh, you know, you're already cooking up pre sales. Yes. So you're looking at numbers in there, growing and growing and growing. This book hasn't even released yet. I know. Mm. I know, and I've been thinking, I gotta buy more books, but wait, I gotta save up for my college tuition. Because the college tuition is $45,273 a year. Wow. Are you thinking about that already? <laughs> you wanna go to Harvard. So I'm no, thinking. that's tuition. That's not room and board. That's not book. Oh, that's not man. Class. That's, that's, that's not tuition. classes. That ain't including that's ramen noodles. Ramen noodles, huh? No. Yeah. I'm going to go to Tinley High School so that they give me college credits and I don't have to take as many years. That's clever thinking. And I do Ivy Tech classes at nighttime. Mm-hmm. Some of the days. Hey, did you? Yeah. Stop. Hold on for a second. Yeah. Did you help her plan this out? Jesus. Of course I did. Wow, okay. Because I, hey, I was about Ivy to walk Tech. out the room. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, damn, like she played, I mean, she planned this out herself. I mean, that's why I thought. Some of it. But she but told but me that Ivy Tech days and I was pretty much it. But that's the, I mean, but that's the beauty of it. Yeah, it is. Is that you're feeding her good knowledge and she's mm-hmm. retaining it. Because mm-hmm. she's able to recite it back to you. That's major. And that just shows you that you can't, you can't be, I mean, at least 11 years old. You can retain this information and think about your future at a young age. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, my theory is, is a lot of times, like, we look at kids between 8 and 12 and we kind of forget that they're there. You know, we mm-hmm. just, they're just coasting through life, but we don't realize that this is where they're learning the most stuff. Right. Mm-hmm. So, and that's why it's hard to control a teenager because they've taken everything from 8 to 12 and they became this person. Mm-hmm. So, you're like, what is wrong with you? Why, why are you not listening to me? You don't realize that that, that four years was yep. prime time yeah. taking it all in. Yeah. So, we got to be more careful with what we're feeding them. And it's obvious that she's going to be very successful, uh, you know, probably before she turned 14, um, <laughs> you know, at this rate. And that's beautiful. So, you know, keep going with that. Um, you know, I'm, we're definitely going to help you pub this book. Um, you know, try to get you some more sales or whatnot because, I mean, you already got a lot of sales, but we're just going to keep pushing it even more. Mm-hmm. You know, we want you to go uh, reach sky, the sky's the limit. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, you guys get in, get in touch with Tyra Seldon, absolutely, because Tyra Seldon is, is, is great at, uh, I mean, she, She's helping people that is, that's had t- New York Times bestsellers, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And and I have no doubt that George George may one day be there. Mm-hmm. You know, um, great well, book cover, the graphics. Call. You got a call? I did. Oh, man. I just hadn't shared that with her. Oh, boy. Mm. There it is. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> well, share the news. They're waiting on the physical copy. So Steve, okay. Steve Harvey's show called. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. This was a few weeks ago. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and so we're waiting on the physical copy mm-hmm. to, you know, to actually, we, we're trying to, you know, we need That's it to be major. a project product. That's major. <laughs> Look at her. She's, she's looking at you oh. like, why you ain't telling me this? Because she got, the whole Raymond Park Middle School is going to know. Uh-oh, they going to know tomorrow. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just focused on my little hustle business. That's good. Oh, so man. Outside. One thing at a time, huh? Can, can we talk about our hustle business? Yeah, 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 so about the hustle business. What, what, yeah, what are you selling? I sold a pair of wireless beats yesterday. So listen. Go, well, but, no, no, no. Then you have to hear this from the parent. No, no. Uh-oh. So I, I hope this boy's parent is watching. Mm-hmm. But we're not going to say his name. Okay. <laughs> so she sells candy at school. Okay. I hope Miss Storm ain't watching. We know it's wrong. <laughs> Um, she takes about $10 of candy to school every day in her book bag. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a little boy at school 
that gives her seventy dollars every day for this ten dollars. Oh candy. my goodness! And so you know the 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 the, <laughs> correct, the parent in me is like I'm telling because where he's where is he getting this money? Mm -hmm. After we keep the change, then we're gonna tell him. <laughs> <laughs> so she, and he's been doing this. It's been almost two weeks now. And he for, bring you seventy dollars. Yeah, so then yesterday she gets in the car and she says, Mom, uh, we got to go to Best Buy. And I said, for what? She's like, well, the the boy wants um, some Beats headphones. I said, well, t we don't sell Beats headphones. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, well, I mean, he gave me $250. Oh, my goodness. Two hundred and fifty. Well, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. So you you so good at selling? <laughs> you got people going. You, they want they want all kinds of stuff from you now. I'm not even done. Cause tomorrow he wants me to bring him a color changing Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> yeah, today. Wow. So to, she took him the to Bluetooth. So let me tell you what I did. Forgive me, Lord. <laughs> We wouldn't go to Best Buy. Y'all know that anybody watching who got a, a, know how to flip anything, we definitely didn't go to Best Buy. <laughs> we went and bought that boy some hundred dollar beats. There you go. And he kept the chain. There you go. And then today he gave her a hundred and twenty dollars, talking about he wants this speaker and two boxes of pop tarts. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Where's one bird pop tarts and strawberry speaker is thirty dollars. Who's getting this money from? Is, is, is his parents no boy? What's going on here? He, this is cash? He keeps, he keeps oh his hair cut. He, he brings he his lunch to school. Where's said, Jordan's and stuff every day? I said, oh, they ain't missing it. Who am I to be meddling? Yeah, hey, 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 listen. You're that's, providing a service. You know what I mean? That's none of our business. Just <laughs> give him this. We keep the change. Hey. He's getting his product. He's getting what he paid for. Man, that is hilarious. Isn't that something? That is hilarious. What school, what school you go to? <laughs> Raymond Park. Oh, my goodness. Academy. Oh, man. I said, I done told my whole family. I'm like, what am I nah, supposed man. to do? Well, we need to give them the we need. Hey, listen, we need a loan then. You loan it like Seriously. A few thousand. little boy will give us a loan. I, I already got to buy a dance studio. Huh? You buying a dance studio? You know I am. For what? Because you're not going to let Miss Shalita use your, your place. Miss Shalita has a dance Two dollars a week. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of new kids. She wants to buy, I hope Miss Shalita's watching. She wants to buy her dance team a new studio. Oh, wow. So you oh, dance too? You have a dance team? I'm yes. going to. Okay, what dance team is this? Too Much Dance. It's called Too Much Dance. Wow, I've heard that. They've been around for a while. Yes. So you're part of that team now. Mm -hmm. Y'all do uh, like y'all do travel events and stuff. Yes, a really? lot. Does that cost a lot to yeah. be in a dance team? In a few weeks, yes. few months, most weeks. July. In July, we're we're dancing in California. Mm. Oh my goodness! You we've ready for that? On, we've been on BET. We've been on Bring It. Oh wow! And you've yeah. been a part of that revolution. Wow. Yeah, this major. What an experience! This major at life is n n no plaything. <laughs> Jesus. It's yeah, pretty awesome. We just came from Nashville. Before we mm. didn't even get all the way back then. Y'all pay for the outfits too? Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. That's like it's like uh, this is the same thing as basketball. You know, yeah, you buy the baseball. jerseys and all the stuff to come and with then it. You get to the game and you forget about all the expenses. Right. All right. the food. That's when game is on, right? Yep. Are y'all winning? Yes. Wow. We What's actually it? came on with only first place rewards. Oh okay. Wow. Maybe like. Two, two, three, second, and third, but mostly first place. Wow. <laughs> Girl, you done done more than the natural 11-year-old yeah. selling beets, mm -hmm. <laughs> candy, got a book out. My goodness. Yeah. Keep going. Absolutely keep going. We're going to close this out. Y'all have been phenomenal, man. You know, and, I, and I hope that uh, we do, we definitely going to follow this mm -hmm. and make sure that we uh, promote anything that y'all got going on. But I love what you're doing with the Silver Center. Thank you. I yeah. can't wait till it's finished. Mm -hmm. uh, please send us an invite to the to the yeah, grand, grand, grand opening. Of course. Definitely want to be there for that. And uh, we're going to follow your book. We're absolutely. We're going to uh, keep pubbing it. Let us know when the next one drops. Um, and we're going to definitely pub that, too. You know, so keep going. Stay connected to your mom. Your mom got it figured out. She still, <laughs> she get, hey, that's, that's where it's at right there. And obviously, you, you got a lot of that. So keep it up. Um, what we like to do now is do closing remarks. And basically, we just uh, tell the viewers uh, what's, what's going on. Uh, just give them a shout out and, uh, you know, tell them what's going on, what's, what's coming up next for you. Just thank everybody for, for your 
purchasing your book thus far. Yep, just say thank you very much. I thank, thank everybody for purchasing my book and encouraging me to keep going. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just wanted to quit because mm -hmm. I didn't feel like I could do it. Mm -hmm. but so thank you, you did for it. encouraging me. That's good. And I yeah. give a shout out to Too Much Dance Dance Team. There it is. <laughs> Too Much Dance. <laughs> That's awesome, and definitely don't stop. You know, you got the, the world is rooting for you. And one thing we realize even as, like, as adults now is that, you know, if we just had somebody to say just keep going, we would have kept going as kids. So you definitely got somebody in your corner, and, uh, you know, you got a lot of viewers mm -hmm. that's tuning in that's rooting for you. So definitely don't stop. Keep going. Absolutely. All right. See you. Uh, grand opening May 19th, 10202 mm -hmm. East Washington Street, the Silver Center. Mm -hmm. Finally, praise yeah, the Lord. Absolutely. <laughs> What's that date again? May the 19th. May the 19th. Yes. Yes. Uh, make sure you come at 6 30. Mm hmm. Wow, so you probably got events booked up for the next year. Uh, you know, I only got one event booked for 2018, and okay. honestly, it's probably because I haven't had time to mm -hmm. answer all of them. There's so right. many people, and I'm sorry, everybody, if anybody's watching. Mm -hmm. I've heard all millionaire problems yeah. over the year. They're like, she don't answer, and I can't get it. <laughs> and I, I'm sorry. I'm just you know doing hands-on stuff at the mm -hmm. center. Yeah. Um, and then trying to sit down at the computer and read all 400 leads, you mm -hmm. know, and answer everybody. It's just been a trying time, so I, I, I haven't been. But if I were to, I'm pretty sure I'd be. What's your sister name? Tanessa. She got her hands full. Tana yeah, Tanessa. I, 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 hey, hey, we might have to hire you an assistant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, real. We on it. Yeah. We're on it. And that's awesome. Yeah. That's that's great stuff. Thank you. Um, P. Wills, I want to thank both y'all men for coming. I mean. Thank you for having us. Hey, thank yeah, you. Absolutely. Thank you all for You're coming. very very welcome. And. uh this one over here, Kennedy, oh my God. I mean, <laughs> coming from where I'm from, an 11-year-old with the mindset that you have, that's, mm -hmm. that's... I definitely didn't have it. That's, yeah, I mean, and you know, I think, you know, a lot of it, you know, has to deal with her saying you being an entrepreneur and you own something. Mm -hmm. And you're doing that, so that has really, you know, um, helped her. I mean, it just, I mean, you're brilliant, you are a... a a leader to so many kids. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I mean, y'all. I mean, you're welcome, and you probably don't see that now, but you'll see it. Mm -hmm. um, and and you know, I will get your book. Um, and you know, it just all this man just inspiring me, and what you're doing is great too. Thank you. Um, so when I, when I get married, I tell you what I'm going to wear and have on a saran wrap suit. With some oh, sky blue wing tips <laughs> and, a, and a top hat. You're going to sing too, Rayford. Uh, yeah, I'm going to sing. No. What about you, Rayford? <laughs> no. <laughs> Rayford, thank you. Man, you got I'm this. squeezing in there. You got this Rayford thing going on. <laughs> Rayford. Thank God my mama didn't name me Rayford. Rayford, I just don't know. Who's that new Rayford? Rayford. I would probably have glasses, be a little bit heavy set, and, uh, you know, baby afro. I don't know. That sound like that look like a Rayford. I don't know. Rayford. Rayford. Nothing like that. This is pretty awesome. Rayford. Rayford. Good, good. <laughs> yeah, you'll still be pretty awesome if you were a Rayford. See, oh, see, see, see. About sounds. Rayford. Kennedy, my dog. I mean, how does Patford sound? I mean, does that sound cool? It Patford. sounds unique. Okay, exactly. Patford. Unique. Patford. Mm -hmm. you, you, you got one telling the truth. <laughs> I know. You are telling the truth. It's unique. Everybody like, has a different name. Like, ain't it like unique? Chisa. Chisa. Okay. Lisa. Fair enough. Anthony. Afrony. Who's Afrony? Afrony. You know Afrony? Man. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This is great. <laughs> well, look here, man. Look, y'all have been great. Absolutely. This is uh, phenomenal. It's, it's always a good time for me, uh, you know, bringing people in here because not only do we get to learn about what you guys are doing, but we get to give the viewers something to think about mm -hmm. and some takeaways. And I'm sure that there's parents out there trying to figure out how to, how to get kids into business. You know, and, uh, you know, I would just suggest that, uh, you know, continue staying connected to uh, what their passion is. Mm -hmm. You know, finding out what that is. That is and then, definitely the key. Yeah, and then doing some research on how you can help propel them. Whatever it is. Yeah, don't, you know, don't push kids into something that, you know, was your dream. You know, I see that yeah, a lot, too. Absolutely. Some kids Thank play you. sports and do stuff, and they're not even happy at all. So Yeah, yeah. before this, yeah. I'm pretty sure she's had about 15 ventures. I'm not even kidding. Well, that's and good, I, And I support yeah. it because, I mean, one minute she wants to make balloons animals and, mm -hmm. and, and for parties mm -hmm. and so you know then she wanted to sell rubber band rings and mm -hmm. 
And I'm just like, okay, well, here's all the rubber bands. There you go. Yeah. yeah. And see, the important thing is that you giving her the tools that she need. You know, and then she finds out that, hey, okay, maybe this ain't what I want to do. Yeah, and I'm, still, I'm, I'm back at Hobby Lobby buying right. <laughs> the next thing. But the best thing was she was always there for me. Oh, look at that. How, how much you paying her? She thinks how we're much going for no, She thinks we're going for soup. <laughs> look, look, <zero. laughs> she thinks we're going for soup. She, that's, that's all that is. It's oh, no. Mm -hmm. We're getting some food. <laughs> oh, who's she? My she dad. Yeah. White no. Castle. <laughs> y'all gonna go to White Castle and y'all leave here and get some To Chase's Kitchen. There it is. I heard Chase's that. Kitchen. I heard that. <laughs> look. <laughs> hey, listen, that home cook, uh, look, that home cook meal is the best. She don't know about it. You can cook some chicken <clears throat> noodles? Mac and cheese? Maybe. Not this late. Man, go to White Castle and get some onion chips. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dang. No. So the onion chips are on fire. <laughs> Well, look here, man. Thank hey, you guys. viewers, thank you. We thank y'all so much. Y'all always faithful to us, you know, uh, through the ups and the downs. Y'all always pull through for us, and we appreciate that. Um, we are going to uh, send out the next segment alert real soon, mm -hmm. and I'll let y'all know what's going on. And uh, just continue uh, tuning in and sharing this feed. It's so important for us to individually hold ourselves accountable for getting the word out there about uh, good things like this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, getting the kids into business is some of the best things that we can do, whether they go into business or not. Um, the knowledge that they gain from that, if they ever wanted to growing up, you know, that's, that's really all that matters. So uh, thank you all for tuning in, and we'll see you all again next week. Thank, thank you. you. Peace. Or this week, thank sorry. Thank you. Peace. <laughs> We'll be back anytime gladly. Yes, yes, yeah, there it is. Politics, Peace. technology, sports, health, and wellness. The Gray Area Media is a platform created by longtime friends for the sole purpose of providing our communities with the ability to voice current, past, and modern day issues. The Gray Area and its naming significance solely speaks to the area in which people shy away from speaking because of media-based constraints or contractual-based obligations. Well, I'm here to tell you, we don't do that here. So please, stay tuned in. We're going to go live in a few minutes. Don't forget, please add us as a friend on Facebook so that you can follow our live feed. And not only that, please add us on Twitter and Instagram at The Gray Area Media. Please visit our website at www.thegrayareamedialive.com. Thank you.